Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Sunday, March 24th, 2024. And this is my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. So what I want to do here right off the bat is share something with all of you that I put together yesterday. This is in your inbox if you subscribe to my free newsletter. I really hope you are subscribed to my newsletter. It's really free. I don't share your information, I promise. Anyway, this is going to set the stage for what you and I can expect moving forward. And I think pretty much that we, it's you and me, have nailed this to the wall uh, for quite a long time right now. So anyway, let's, let's go over this here and I'm going to add to this as we move forward. I left something out. I left one big thing out of this and we'll talk about that at the very end. But um, for now, let's just pay attention to what's going on. So anyway, here we go. Marcus, expect massive price action distortions to worsen. Let me just add to that a little bit. What we are witnessing now is far beyond where anyone would have expected we would be. That is right here and right now. But if you stand back and you understand what's in play right now, what central banks are trying to achieve very successfully, um, it makes it clear that what we are seeing, well, was inevitable. And what we're going to see in the end is going to be very, very bad. So let us let us move forward. So again, expect massive price action distortions to worsen by me. Here we go. Despite a world economy contracting at its fastest pace on record, and this is a fact, despite the propaganda, all right, with GDP and everything else, we understand the uh, what's driving this war, expanding war, more war, and it's just not going to stop. And um, anyway, the fakery, the, the, the deceptions, it's, it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. So anyway, despite a world economy contracting at its fastest pace on record, stock prices are rising at a staggering pace. And I mean staggering. Here we go. Here in the United States alone, in just the first three months of this year, the stock market has hit a new record 20 times. You and I knew this was coming. Did we know this would come to this degree last year when we said, we called this, you and me. We called how it would happen. As a matter of fact, what we're seeing now, it's going to sound eerily familiar to you because we talked about a lot of this last year before it all started. Here's the situation. When you are analyzing what's happening and you see pieces lining up it's not that hard to ascertain where it's going to go you understand and that's my job here my job essentially is an analyst of what's happening a macro analyst that's really what i do for the most part and by taking in a lot of information you could come up with the most likely outcomes. Doesn't mean you're going to be right 100% of the time. Because again, you all know this. We're playing a game here of incomplete information. You can gather every piece of information that you can possibly put together, but there's always going to be gaps that you're going to have to fill. On top of that, this is fluid. Things are changing and they're changing rapidly. But again, we don't have to be right 100% of the time. We just have to be right most of the time, and I think we're there. Anyway, here we go. There are civil dynamics in play right now which are driving stocks higher. Let's outline a few of these dynamics to better gauge if this phenomenon will continue or not. The phenomenon of extreme distortions in the market, again, which is going to end very, very badly. So beginning this year, Multiple corporations have announced and continue to announce mass layoffs. Mass layoffs seems to be something the market wants to see right now. Wall Street has subsequently rewarded these companies for laying off workers by bidding their stocks higher. Interesting phenomenon, but that's what's going on. A rapidly slowing economy. With ongoing non-stop, round after round of, of continually bad economic news, stock investors, me included, and I'm sure you, are betting on central banks lowering rates despite inflation continuing to rise. It's going to happen. 
the promise of more easy money. The Swiss National Bank just last week made a surprise rate cut. Honestly, I didn't see this coming. I don't think anyone saw this coming, but it's setting a precedent. This is significant as they have been become the first major central bank to cut rates here. With that, also last week, Federal Reserve Puke, I didn't write that here, but Puke Chairman Jay Powell, uh, following the Federal Reserve Open Mar Market Committee announcement on monetary policy, all but assured the stock market. This is what the market heard, henceforth why record high, record high, record high after that. Showed the market that... Imagine my shock, imagine your shock. The Fed will be cutting rates later this year. It's a lock. For those of you that think it's not happening, you don't understand the dynamics in play. It's unfortunate. Uh, and you're going to find yourself behind the curve. Here we go. It is also my firm belief, and I've spoken about this already, that both the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank will be working in lockstep people, cutting rates, artificially suppressing rates beginning later this year. Count on it. All right. When a central bank cuts rates, you all know this, it must create epic sums of, of currency out of thin freaking air and buy the debt. This mechanism allows central banks to inflate, which is how they consolidate power. I, I hope all of you understand that, okay? This mechanism of suppressed rates by design, it's designed to do this, opens up a doorway for cash to make its way into risk assets or the stock market. Massive government spending. Investors are expecting, and I'm sure you are too, world governments, governments, which is really the central banks, to continue to run record debts and deficits for as far as the eye can see and beyond. The mechanism, pay attention to this part, it's important. The mechanism of skyrocketing debts and deficits along with central banks cutting rates is in itself massively inflationary. Duh. Okay, meaning it reduces the purchasing power of the currency. Well, you see, you're not allowed to know that. No one's going to tell you that either. Uh, when a currency loses purchasing power, it takes more of these devalued uh, central bank issued notes to buy anything, even shares of stock. Imagine my shock. Now, in summary, considering the current dynamics in play, we can fully expect the pri that price action distortions regarding stock prices will continue. With that, we can also expect that the eventual outcome will be very, very bad. You see that? You could count on that. What did I leave out? War. I left that out. It is a main driver as to what is going on right now. War, expansion of war, pulling more cash into the now out of nothing. We, no developed nation on this planet has a war chest. So to fund all of these wars, including the current one that we are in here in the United States, uh, against so-called Iranian proxies, okay, uh, this cash has to be borrowed into existence right from the Federal Reserve. But you're not allowed to know that either, and no one's going to tell you that. Not even anyone running for president because you must be kept in the dark. You can't know what's going on, period. It's an unfortunate thing that the, the current state of affairs has assured that the people remain dumbed down. Believe me, everything that we talk about here, this is, uh, this is not rocket science. And everyone knows what's going on. All our politicians know what's going on. Obviously, the central bankers know what's going on. People running for president know what's going on. They can't tell you the truth. It's a deception. It's a distraction. Oh, look at this. Look over here. Forget about what's going on over there. No, no, no. Focus over here so we can finish what we started. And they're all playing the game, all of them. If you believe that one of these people are on your side, you are being deceived on a monumental scale. We've been warned about this throughout history, but that's where we're going today, people. Anyway, I hope this makes sense to you. And again, this is in your inbox. People, feel free to share this work that I put out. Every, every week, I put out something like this for all of you. And I don't do it because I think it's fun or exciting or anything like that, although it is kind of interesting, but this is for you, all right? So you can understand what's happening. Uh, and I'm really hoping that you will share this kind of stuff because, look, you know my take on, on the, the grander scheme of things is I believe that you and I together have the ability to change the world. That's the truth by 
by sharing pieces of truth here, by allowing people to understand what's really happening to them and why. Believe me, there, there, there are so many people who have no idea about why things are what they are. But here in this blog, you and I, we cover it all the time. And I think, I really believe we're making a difference because I get more people writing to me. I hear from more of you. Um, and, and, and it makes me happy to understand that there are more people that are, are getting it. Unfortunately, there's not enough of us right now by a long shot to do anything really about it, but we can band together, make the right connections, get ourselves on the right side of this because we are leading. Again, look how we ended this off, people. And you think I'm kidding? Do you think I'm kidding by saying this, that it eventually the eventual outcome is going to be very, very bad? And I can't, even, I can't underscore that enough. This is why we have to, again, realize what's happening and take action. As I always tell you, this is not a channel for people who just want to be entertained. This channel is for people of action. I don't know another way to put this here, all right? Anyway, I'm gonna let you all go. I hope you got something out of this, this video. I, and again, putting this into perspective gives you enormous power, enormous power over your own destiny, over your own future. Without this, I mean, we're like, a, you know, we'd be like a ship without a rudder. Uh, you know, we wouldn't know what to do. Like most people, they have no idea what's happening to them or why it's happening to them. This thing that we are in right now, a whole new set of dynamics are evolving. A, a whole new set of rules are, are evolving or devolving, depending on how you want to look at this. And... The world we are we are marching towards very, very rapidly, this is all a setup here. It's about control. It's central banks who are banding together to rule the earth. This has been their goal since day one. I mean, it's an incredible thing. Um, understanding why central banking was created, what their goals have always been, and they are achieving them one after the other after the other. There's no stopping it at this point. You may think there is, there ain't, okay, um, unfortunately. And, and, and the, the worst part of this is people are surrendering themselves to this. And that's what they're doing, why they're creating dependency on the current system, slaves to the current system. More dependency means when they take this system down, and it is coming down, that's the reason why it's going to end very, very badly. It's by design. They can issue in a new system, and they're going to make people beg for it. Beg, not you. Not you and me, because we are the resistance. And having knowledge is power. And wisdom is power. You understand? All right, look. This guy here loves you a lot from the heart. I mean that with all I got. Please share this stuff. Please comment. Get it out there. I will see all of you in the morning. And I'm looking forward to that. All right? Take it easy.